Hello, this is Brad with Ad Analysis. In this video, we're going to dig into the Ad Relevance portion of Quality Score. So, Ad Relevance looks at how closely your keywords match the message of your ad. Does your ad accurately describe your keywords? That's why it's an ad group. We look at ads first and say, do these keywords fit? So, if we look at an actual advertiser's account, now we're going to use historical ad relevance because we only show accounts from advertisers who have other accounts closed for several years. So here we have an ad group with an above average, an average, and a below average ad relevance in this same ad group. And they all have a decent number of impressions. So what Google's telling us is this keyword, because it's above average, works well with the current ad. This one's okay, this one's bad. So in other words, we can't write a good ad for all three of these keywords. It's probably not possible. We need to take the below average keywords and move them to an ad group that has a better ad message or create a new ad group. And then we look at the average and say, should this have a different ad? Now this is where sometimes advertisers get really frustrated. So like orthodontics and orthodontics are the same thing. Well, technically orthodontics is a type of dentistry. Orthodontist is someone who does the work. Right? Invisible braces is actually a completely different product. So in this case, these probably should be three ad groups. But where it sometimes gets confusing is this keyword with plural has below average and singular above average, or attorney versus lawyer. And sometimes it's a machine. It's looking for trends in the data. If it says people who search attorney versus lawyer interact very differently with your ads and keywords, they will have very different quality scores, and you need to split those up. The one exception is business to business when sometimes you're writing ads for a very specific subset of the searchers and you don't want everyone to click on it. So in some cases B2B, below average is okay. But usually you get average ad relevance and below average expected CTR. Different story at B2B. So now if every ad is above average, our ad relevance is great, nothing to do. If they're all average, we could tweak the ad some. We may not have to do organizational work. If they're all below average, we need to really start with brand new ads. If some are above average and others are below average, and they have enough impressions that the data is significant. Now you need to say, all right, this keyword can stay with the ad. This other keyword needs to move to a different ad group. Could be a brand new one or an existing one with a better ad. And so that's really what we're looking at ad relevance is Google's telling us Right, this keyword and this ad don't work well together. So from your perspective, that is all about organization. So move them to different ad groups and try different messages. Now, if you're in a system like Adalysis, we automatically look for ad groups with poor relevance between keywords and ads, and you can look and see what the ad groups are. When we go look at an ad group, we'll see these are above average, these are below average, so all you have to do is say these keywords need to move to a different ad group or a new ad group. The ads get copied automatically, so you can just adjust them and go ahead and make those new ad groups. So it's real easy in a system like Adalysis to manage this. But if you're managing within Google, look at your ad relevance and you could just sort. Right? Where do we have below average? Look at the ad groups and see if other keywords are above average. That means new ad groups. If they're all below average, that means new ads. If they're a mixture, then we want to look and say this keyword should be in this ad group, new ad group, yet a different ad group, and probably another ad group. So this ad group should probably be four different ad groups. And by maintaining that good keyword to add relevancy, your quality scores increase, which should increase your impression shares, decrease your prices, and all those good things. And if you need a way to make this much easier for yourself, Give Adalysis a try. It's a free trial, and we'll show you this automatically, as well as a lot of other recommendations to make your PPC management much easier, more efficient.